Okay, it's a beautiful, lovely afternoon to be filming my RV. This is a Terry Taurus Latent. It says up above, Taurus. It's made actually by Fleetwood. They owned this company back in 1977. This is a wonderful design. I searched the whole country for it. And I just don't have the time to work on it. I have to clean up the tongue, but the tongue is all solid. It's got the nice awning and windows all the way around. You see the windows there. And all good tires. It's a 20 footer. Easy to pull. My forerunner has absolutely no problems with it. A station wagon can pull it even. It's the biggest one you'd want. If you start getting bigger than this, you need a really big truck to pull it. Um, what I did is I took out all of the gas and I set it up so that you would just need the 30 amp plug in at an RV site. Right there is there's a gas thing missing. It was like a heater exhaust, and that was the refrigerator exhaust. And I have a um, trap door for that, which is where you could put all your exterior stuff in. I'll show you that when I go around to the other side. It'll go on real easy. Underneath, you see we have the gray and the black tanks. Let's get in close and see if we can see the picture with the the release for each gray and black. All that's good. Okay. I have, I bought a lot of new lights for it. So that's one of the fun projects ahead. Um, the bumper has a little bit more rust than I would like. I would get a new bumper for 150 bucks off of the internet. That's what I would do, but that's actually repairable. Um, the only exterior work I think that's left would be to remove this back window and put it back in um, because it did have a leak and I, I just never got to it. But what I did do is I changed all the corners. That's all new stuff. At all four corners are new. That's right. Um, I worked real hard on the exterior of this puppy. And it's not perfectly tweaked, but it's solid as a rock. It's got great bones. You can see I had to replace some aluminum here. There was another heating element of some sort here, and that was all not good so I took that out and put new aluminum there and again here's where the corners have been changed get your little balancing thing there from the original okay before we go inside this is the fiberglass that covers the wheel wells have a spare tire there's the hatch I was talking about that goes over that opening That'll be fun to cut that out and pop that in. <clears throat> um, I saved some of the big plumbing pipes. The toilet and bathtub shower area. That goes under the shower. This black piece, under the bathtub rather. And this little piece of wood here elevates the tub. So it sits on that to give enough room for the trap and everything. I bought a brand new electric wire, a brand new um, vent is in there, and this is the rim for it, I just didn't go on yet. There's all new lighting for it, there's the original lights there for the big tail lights. I have a new, because I redid the floors in there, I bought a deeper um, drain fixer, a flange rather. There's the tire holder, um, this for whatever it's worth. This used to cover the gas tanks, 
to me it's not worth anything because I take out all the gas. I don't go hunting in the woods. This here is a table holder for the original design that I didn't need, but the new owner might want it. Okay, we'll go inside now. And I mean, there is one crack here in the window. That's the only thing. All the windows are good other than that crack. I guess I would take it to a glass place to correct that. But all the windows are heavy aluminum and they crank great. And that was one of the things I wanted. The step is brand new. I put that on myself. The one that was there must have hit something. Okay. Door. And latch. Let's latch that. There we go. I'd clean that up, of course. All right. So as you come in here, this is the original shower area against that wall. And that's where the shower sits across there. Bathtub, shower. So you need to put in new um, waterproofing there. And there was a closet right here door to a closet. I have all the doors, all the original doors are down in the basement in good shape, dehumidified. And this was the vent for the black pipe and this is where the toilet sat, this way. So this was the bathroom. It had the shower, a little sink right under the, um, I still have the sink, under the window and the toilet. But I wasn't going to use the sink. It just takes up space. You don't need it. If you want to brush your teeth, you got the sink here, you know. So my theory on that is you just put this closet back, put the wall, and the door was here leading to the bathroom. The other thing to note is I rebraced all of the wood along the top here and even raised the crown properly. So this is all fresh wood that you can see. So I did the hard part, new floor, new structural. So it's all solid around. This is where that hatch will go. That'll open up out and you'll be able to put in here your wiring and things, electric plug-in. This is where the refrigerator goes right here. It's a little dark right now, it's hard to see. Maybe if I back up, yeah. So the refrigerator goes there. They used to have a gas refrigerator, so I would just cover that up, leave it there, make it totally waterproof, and then you have a floor, a little shelf here with the refrigerator above it. And down there is all utility stuff and the electric stuff and the plumbing pipes that go out to the gray tank, which would be the bathtub and the sink go to the gray tank and there's your vent for it. There's only two um, protrusions to the roof and they're brand new. I put them in for the two vents. Okay. Now, this design is very unique. It has um, the dinette which folds down into a bed and we have all the cushions for it and they're all in good shape. No tears at all. They're the original cushions and they're, they're good. This I would definitely take out. This is where the stove was, it's gone. There was a heater under here, a hot water heater and things, all gas and that's gone. That's where I put new aluminum. Okay. And I have a piece of wood that goes right on, that goes with it. Brand new plywood for a top. Stain it really nicely, put in, I would put in a better sink, a single deeper sink with a high faucet. That's the kind of investments you want to make, is make it really nice in the kitchen. Now I left this ceiling here, because it was all good, and all of these cabinets are good. There's nothing wrong in there, so I just left this center section as it is. Windows are all good, they all crank good, really beautifully, every one of them. Okay, and so over here too, this seemed pretty good, so I just kind of left it. This seemed tenuous in the corners, so I took out everything, including the ceiling, and put in fresh wood, fresh plywood, a brand new vent, 
Um, that's what you saw the trim for. So what someone needs to do is put in new wiring. These are of course the running lights and what have you. I have all the wires for that. Easy peasy. Decide where you want the actual lights, the AC lights. I already mapped out where all the original wires go through the ceiling and they come down to where the electric box was. So right now, I just have this as my central section for those wires. There's the wires coming in and you have the electric box with the fuses are all in storage over there with that stuff. I, I didn't plan it out, but it is there. So this would be the bed area here. What they had was that tabletop thing and then a U-shaped sitting area that turned into a big bed. You could build that. I would just build a queen bed and put the head here and the TV up on that wall. To me, that would work nicely in this formation. You'd be able to see the TV from the dinette area. So the good news is it's solid as a rock. You can see I reinforced all under here. I actually had that aluminum off when I put the corners in and put in all fresh wood, nice and solid. And there you go. If you want to put in an AC unit, you can put it in in place of one of these things. The other thing you can do is put a mini split out front where the gas tank sat would be the condensing unit and then up here would be the blower and you just run the line set through the wall go out through the floor and over to the condensing unit again easy peasy you can get one that'll run on 110 okay And this is it. This is what we have. Nineteen seventy seven Terry Taurus Layton, built by Fleetwood. Yeah, I even have the refrigerator for that. We can talk about that. Bought a Whirlpool, fits right in there. Beautiful weather. Okay. There's Buddy wandering around. Hi, Bud. Hey, Buddy, how you doing? <laughs> Can't see, he's blind as a bat. Daddy's here. Daddy's here. There you go. Yeah, once again, with somewhere in here is the electric box. That's the wires. There's the electric box. And uh, all the fuses and everything are in there. Easy peasy. Also comes with it here. the electric entrance, the water entrance, pressure valve, and all the old screws and things. And downstairs in the basement are all the doors and everything that came out of there. In the original interior setup. Okay, and that is on Craigslist for sale now. And I can be reached at 828-989-3293. My name is Bobby. All right, happy camping. What a beautiful day. Just to show, I've had that RV undercover. 
right here. For the last three years, it's been sitting here, just waiting to be finished. I was intensively remodeling it and got derailed. Personal changes, and now it's a perfect little project for someone else to take over. Okay, and I sort of am going to miss it because it is really the perfect size and the perfect layout. Easy to pull, not too big, but big enough to live in. Okay, we'll see you.